glute bridge with hip abduction. Now this is probably my third most prioritized exercise when it comes to building uh, the booty. It does isolate the glute so much. It does work the hamstrings a bit, really engages the core. Eventually work up to using a hip um, abduction band. I'll show you why. But yeah, very much a hip thrust without having your shoulders up on a bench. Um, shoulders are on the ground. You want to avoid looking upwards. Uh, you want to have your chin tucked looking down and you want to avoid um, an overarching curve of the lower back. Keeping your, your core nicely um, engaged. Really squeezing those glutes. Instead of having your feet facing forward, having them slightly flared out and shoulders on the ground. So facing forward, chin tucked. Squeeze the glute. Notice that uh, core is tight, glutes are squeezed, and there's no like overarch here. If an overarch would actually look like, look like that. You don't want to do that. We want to just nice and control with chin tucked in, facing forward, feet slightly flared out. Come down very slow. Avoid touching. Your, your glute to the ground during your reps. So you want to keep your booty up in the air for the entire rep range, and then rest in between sets. Uh, shoulders on the back, tucked in. Now, glute bridge hip abduction. I'll do it without the band first. I'm gonna flare out on the edge of your feet. See that? I'm not, I don't have my feet just flat on the ground. They're flaring out like that. So traditional glute bridge, and then hip abduction. Hip abduction. Walking forward, chin tucked in, down, squeeze, hip abduction. If you're doing hip abduction movement as well, is just move your feet slightly closer in before you start the glute bridge makes it easier to do that hip abduction. We just want to activate as much like fibers in those uh, glute medius, glute minimus, and glute max. To make it harder, add a glute band. You can do the glute band if it's just the glute bridge as well. Feet are a little bit closer together. Knees are like, they're forcing against the band so they're not being collapsed in. So I'm not, I don't have collapsed legs. I'm forcibly fighting against that. Shoulders down, up, hip abduction. Hip abduction, looking forward, hip abduction. If this exercise is too hard, then I'll get you to not, uh, not use the band and just build up to it. It shouldn't be that hard, the actual glute bridge itself. <clears throat> so what I'll get you to do, I'll get you to film it, what you think you're doing with the glute bridge and then send in a copy of that video to that Dropbox link in the, uh, in the members area. The exercise is too easy. Uh, what I'll get you to do is add a three second pause to the top of your um, hold at the very top and, or get you to put your feet on an elevated surface. So, is that gonna be in the camera? Yep. But you can also use like a step and to make it even harder, you just increase that elevation. So you could actually end up being like, feet on the couch while you're doing an elevated glute bridge. It does tend to work a little bit more hamstrings the higher you go up, but this is just a great alternative. Feet up. And you just get a little bit more range of motion, but you want to really make sure you're not overarching that spine. So chin tucked in, looking forward. And then Step it up a notch, add another uh, hip flare. So really great exercise. Um, nail it, go to the next one. Cheers.